Hello, my name is Zaki Anastasio and welcome to another episode of Astute with CBI and it's brought to you by CBI Electric Low Voltage. We're talking about smart devices and all the smart things that you can do in your home and uh, and welcome to our panel once again Dr. Andrew Gioanu who's sitting on my right across on my opposite side is the engineering and innovation business development manager sitting next to him is Larry Barnes who's the product manager at CBI Electric and Kriya Gangia who is media personality you've seen on TV she's the best dressed person here uh, <laughs> hello Kriya nice to see you nice again. to see hello, you hello Larry so hello hi, Andrew hey, okay, hi, yeah. you know the one thing about these devices when you start talking about technology with people right even the most basic thing like a smartphone the you know the, the, the this defensive thing comes up oh you know I, you know I get confused with this technology and when you start talking about smart homes the same kind of thing happens but let me tell you something that making your home smart is easier than running your smartphone that, that that's how easy it is right I mean Kriya when you first started with these smart devices I remember, I couldn't believe how simple they were in the beginning. Did you have the same experience? So kind of going through this process in my mind was, cool, first, is it going to be expensive? Two, how much labor is it going to take me to change everything in my yes. house? Three, is my father-in-law who lives with us going to be able to use the devices? Are we going to struggle with things like that? And kind of moving into the smart area, I've noticed that he's actually enjoying it mm. because it's easy for him to adapt to it as well. And I think that's the most important thing is trying to, as we progress, getting everybody to progress with us. And the learning curve is very steep yeah. and there's lots of challenges, even the ones I haven't even mentioned. mentioned. Yeah, exactly. And, and that is one thing is, is we actually seen people of all ages, from youngsters to older generation, that is loving this. If you remember the transition from a, a phone with buttons to one without it, it was like, oh no, this is not going to work. But with the smart devices, we see that people are actually adapting it so much easier. Maybe it's just in the times we are, but anybody can use it nowadays. It is so straightforward. You need your cell phone, which we work on every single day, and you just need one of these devices and you're good to go. Yeah. You see, you smart guys, that, uh, you know, the, the doctors <laughs> of the world that develop these things, and you, you, you're obviously taking consumers into account because you've got to make this usable for people like Kriya and I to use every day. Yes, definitely. That's that's our number one priority. It's it's commonly misunderstood as to what a smart home means. So general consumer is like, oh no, that's no, too complicated, it's too expensive, I don't want to get involved in that. But it's not. Smart home is convenient and easy to use. So we need to get away from that misconception that it's, it's expensive to have a smart home. It's very easy to have a smart home um, and there's also a fear because they don't know what it is. Yes. That's, that's a, a major challenge. So what we're doing is we're launching this stuff and then how do we make it easy? That's what we take into, into account and everyone's used to smartphones now. Everyone knows how to download an app. So we make an easy to use app, make the devices easy to, to adapt, easy to create, easy to install, and there, anyone can have a smart home. There you go. I mean, <laughs> no need to be a technophobe in this technological world we're living. It's as simple as this. All you have to do is get this device to talk to your router at home, which connects your internet. And it's, it's really that simple. You simply download the app, and then you've got to get this device to talk to your router to provide Correct. this with internet connectivity. Correct. And I remember, I couldn't believe how simple this one was, yeah. is that you press that button, it blinks a few times. It's like connecting a Bluetooth device. Really. Exactly. Mm. A Bluetooth speaker, it's that easy, <laughs> right? It blinks, it blinks, it sees your, your, your network, and then you say connect, you put in your network password, and you're done. Yeah. After you've set up an account with uh, CDI so Electric. Maybe right? just to add on that is, is the app is totally for free. And there is no subscription to this as well. All the services that you get on the app are totally for free. So I think that is also huge because a lot of people think, ooh, app, how much am I going to pay for this? <laughs> ooh, subscription, how much are you going to pay for that? No, but you see now that's actually a very valid point you've raised because there's a lot of competitors out there and a lot of smart device companies yes. that charge extra mm. uh, for additional services. Uh, and this is not going to cost you anything. You buy the, de the device, you've installed it, there's no additional add-ons, like exactly. you know, when you're playing Call of Duty <laughs> in-app purchase. Yeah. Yeah. There's exactly. nothing more to pay. It's simple. Exactly. What's and also nice to say is that there's also no ads. So yeah. the app is free and there's no ads. <laughs> yeah. I had to add that. It's very important. Now, 
If I may go into a little bit depth of technology, because we say it's simple and it is, but you know the reality is most of us today have got routers that support 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. Now IoT devices, Internet of Things and smart devices support 2.4 gigahertz. Mm -hmm. And you know how I learned that lesson? I learned that lesson when I did my first smart device. And it took me like three hours when I realized, hang on a second, I'm trying to use the different band in my home. And don't let this scare you because it's not complicated. Just so that you know that it must be 2.4 yes. gigahertz. It's very important. Exactly. It is very I mean, important. Even Kriya knew that. Yeah, it's, a, it's literally a little switchy even in your, your internet app. If yeah. you have, so for example, I've got a mesh network yes. at home, which is fancy. Oh. Look at yes. us! Look at yeah. us! Yeah. 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 Why don't we? Mesh networks, <laughs> and you need to know that because Correct. otherwise it could be frustrating. But it's in the, it's in the manual yeah. anyway. And, and just to add on to that is, is you only need to activate the 2.4 when you are doing the pairing. Yes. Once you are finished, you can activate the 5G again because obviously in oh. your fancy mesh houses, <laughs> that one if you do not have the 5G connected, not everything connects. Mm -hmm. So initial pairing, you activate the 2.4, but then after that, you go back to your 5 gigahertz and it will work. Yeah. It's just that initial pairing. Yeah. But it sounds complicated, but no, it's, it's not. No, it's actually not, but it's just uh, something I just thought about. But um, the reality is that these devices are easily accessible. They're easily to find. You know, it's not a matter of you need somebody with a PhD to install this. You know, you just need a qualified electrician to do um, yes. most of this stuff. And, and you can get them all over the place. So where did you first discover them? Well, I found them online. I found your Facebook yes. page, which okay. is essentially where yeah. I got the information. But you can buy them in stores as well? Yes, you can buy them in stores. And if you go to our Facebook page, we list all of the distributors where you can find these devices. And it just makes it so much easier because instead of going out, just look on the Facebook page, see who's going to supply it. And there you go. <laughs> yeah, I remember a few years ago somebody telling me this, that we, we're going to have this system eventually where you're going to have billions of devices connected to the internet. So it's not just us using our smartphones, mm -hmm. it's devices like these, like this, like this smart plug, for example, mm, yeah. that can do wonders in your home. Correct, yeah. Um, and what I think something we need to add about this is this is a local product. Mm. This product is South African. Local is lacquer. We, we, yeah. And that is what yeah. we strive on. And it, it's very important. Um, as, as we know, we have a very unique um, electrical distribution network in South Africa. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say load sharing. I didn't say load sharing. Yeah. Say load sharing. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why it's important that all electrical products in South Africa must be designed for South Africa. Mm. So in, in, the, in the design of these products, we, we take into consideration our South African network, the, the people that um, will be using this stuff. So yeah. it's designed by South Africans for South Africans. I guess one question as well is that I had one of those, Kriya, is the, the insurance part. You know, like you always think, well, I'm putting something, uh, you know, I'm putting this, I'm worried about, you know, will, will this happen? This is like fully, fully certified South mm. African. Uh, yes. You know, it, you won't have an issue if something happens in your home, for example. Definitely not. These are fully certified and certifi certified to every needed certification standard in South Africa. Being South Africa, we know the challenges and we ensure that it is, you install that with no worries. And I think what's also important is being in South Africa, we worry about security of the actual device as well. Okay. These are as um, impenetrable as they can be. Yeah. That's why it's important you register a user profile on the CBI Home app. It's password protected. Um, at two levels. So one, your user profile is password protected and secured. So if you lose your phone or anything, it's fine. No worries. Whoever tries to, whatever, it's password secured. And then because you have a user profile, it sits in the cloud, you can install on a new phone and then install the app again. You log into your profile. All your settings and automations are there. Oh. Everything's hunky-dory. Simple as that. Simple as that. And, and I think that is a very important thing because once, and we all do this, we drop our phones, we lose them, and oh, now I have to do all of this again. No, it's not. You just log in again with your pass, with your credentials, everything's there. No extra effort. That's Tom, what makes it so easy. Tell me, is the, the app controls all the things from one app, right? So you don't have to download five different apps. Important, no. because that Very, confuses yeah. me. Yeah. No, you only need the CBI Home app. Yeah. You install that, and all your devices are linked onto that. And later, we can maybe go into some of the cool things that you can do with all of these integrations. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you raised it, because that's going to come up in our next episode. The one thing I love about it is you can see how much voltage you're using, how much exactly. electricity you're using. And we'll get that in the next episode. Thank you for reminding me, Larry. We hope you now understand that it's so simple.
Like anybody can do this. If you can download an app, you can have a smart device in your home. Simple as that. And, and I tell you, um, my mom, who's 78, she's installed one of these in her cottage for her geezer. I couldn't believe it when I got home. Wow. She'd done it herself. <laughs> <laughs> Who helped you with this? She goes, no. I went to the website and I just pressed this blue button. It started blinking and then I linked it to the router. I said, wow, impressive. <laughs> so we'll get on to the benefits of IoT devices because really when you start monitoring what these things can actually do, it's actually quite mind-blowing. So big thanks uh, to all of you, uh, Larry, uh, Kriya, and of course to you, Doc. Can we call you Doc? Sure, it's my nickname. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for joining us for this episode of CBI Astute, or Astute with CBI. It will make you more astute, that's for sure. Coming up in our next episode, we'll tell you about those benefits from these devices. It's mind-blowing. Smart home, smartphone, anything smart, it's easy, guys. Don't be scared of technology. <laughs>